energy transition can mean different things to different people. Uh, with a firm such as ours in the four corners of the world, I find that there are differing attitudes and descriptions that people attribute to this. In the United States, we tend to be looking more at carbon capture. So in other words, technologies that are used to assist and reduce the effects of traditional fossil fuel extraction. When one moves to Europe, one sees much more in terms of uh, renewables. Uh, this has been the case for the last 10 to 15 years. And so one sees a plethora of wind and solar projects. And then when one moves to uh, Australia and Asia, uh, one sees that they're perhaps even further ahead of the curve. Uh, already in Australia, we're seeing hydrogen projects, for example. And some of these projects are on a hugely ambitious scale. Uh, I was talking to a colleague this morning uh, in Sydney who was pointing out that the amount of energy produced through renewables on the east coast of Australia, which is of course where Sydney and Melbourne are found, uh, is now at around 27%. Whereas if you went back 10 years, it was a standing start around zero. Energy transition poses significant risks and potential benefits, of course, for oil and gas companies. We're already seeing, uh, even in late May of this year, 2021, uh, shareholder activism at the highest levels. AGMs of some of the super majors, some of the major energy companies on the planet are being faced with uh, investors and shareholders demanding more action. We've already seen that. I can think already of three AGMs in the last two weeks. On top of that, they're also facing more uh, judicial uh, issues in the sense that national courts are coming to the fore. We can talk about climate change litigation. We've already uh, seen that this is uh, giving rise to a plethora of different actions throughout the world, many of them in the United States. But again, just recently, uh, the District Court of The Hague has already held uh, a super major to account uh, in terms of speeding up uh, it's uh, climate change activities, uh, and they're demanding results on that. On top of that, the Federal Court of Australia, just again about a week ago, was stating in a judgment that the Minister of Environment has a positive duty of care to young Australians when considering new projects, such as coal, such as any energy project whatsoever. I think we're seeing the type of risks that are already familiar to the energy industry. We've seen them historically. I think they're now being brought into sharper focus. What do I mean? I'm thinking of the risks inherent in these large scale capital intensive projects involving huge expenditures, often in inhospitable parts of the world, uh, and where even the technology itself is a subject of some uncertainty. I mean, you put all of those together and the potential for problems seems readily apparent. And I think that these companies were already seeing that. We're already seeing, for example, in different areas of renewables, different types of issues that people may or may not really have seen coming. We have seen ourselves in the uh, area of wind power that there are problems of noise where you put these near local communities. You've got problems of protection of birded uh, flocks, which may be flying through a valley or what have you. We're seeing with solar, there are disputes concerning the storage of electricity through batteries. You look at hydrogen, a new player just out there, but already what we are seeing is that the amount of water required to produce energy is really huge. I mean, it, it cannot be underestimated, and that will be a substantial issue going forward. So looking at disputes overall, what we have seen is in some ways traditional in the sense that it's what the energy industry has always known, long-term capital intensive contracts, difficult areas uh, of the world in which to work in certain cases, and that there may well, of course, be disputes because who can predict what's going to happen in the next two years, let alone five or 10, as is the case with some of these projects.